Hello, Awaken Intuitives. Welcome back and welcome to any new Awaken Intuitives. Natalie here. I'm really excited. This is going to be a very short video um, for the first time <laughs> ever. So um, maybe you'll enjoy it. <laughs> anyway, I'm back because I just received a book from a loved one and I'm super excited about it. I don't know if you've ever heard of the creator, of the author, or anything like that. And I'm here to let you know what I'm going to be coming to do for you guys. And in my last reading, my astrological reading, um, or the super buck moon, at the very end I told you I was going to be doing a reading about a certain location with strange phenomenon and things, strange things that I've been seeing for a long time. And I live very close to it and that is called Skinwalker Ranch, okay? And it's not just that place, it's the entire Uinta Basin, which I live in. And it's quite big. It's like a big bowl. And it's all right. And so um, I'm like so excited to do this, but I'm not going to be doing it right now. So I'm just going to let you know. Um, this new this book I got from Loved One, I'm going to show you a couple of books that I have. Um, and yeah, so I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all having a good weekend. I'm spending time with my family. Yesterday was my fiance's birthday. He's 35. Um, and so yeah anyway so the book i got for my loved one and this is it it's called phoenix rising and it's from mary summer rain it's no eyes she goes by no eyes um wisdom of the changes to come okay and let me read you the back of it and it says mary summer rain's relationship with the old and wise indian shaman no eyes oh yeah her relationship with no eyes okay it's a shaman introduced in spirit song continues as she reveals to mary her compelling visions of the future from the setting in the simple mountain cabin no eyes takes her on a sometimes frightening journey through time viewing the upheavals to come though a unique perspective on timeless paths that few have ever traveled second in a celebrated and best-selling series which includes song spirit dream walker phantoms of foot earthway drape day break sorry soul sounds mountains meadows and moonbeams for children and whispered wisdom phoenix spirit gives the reader an understanding of the relationship between the earth mother and the create creatures who inhabit her domain it's a book that is already a classic for its philosophical insight in the powerful lyric lyricism of the author's portrayal of the beautiful mountains of Colorado and as always the unique relationship between teacher and student is delightfully rendered this 1993 um, I was born in 92 <laughs> so edition of Phoenix Rising is a new preface by the author and a cover painting by Carol Birdo Bordo so I am maybe an hour hour and a half from Colorado um, so this is gonna be super cool super interesting I've heard of no eyes and her um, visions of future events and things like that so I don't know if you have but I'll read you just the beginning of this part where um, I'll just read it to you uh, there are those who are skeptics those are there are those who are doubters and there are those who prefer to non to don rose colored glasses to these ones i have no words for they have made their choice though the signs have been many and i can agree okay yet there are those who wonder there are those who have gentle stirrings and there are those who have stepped upon the beautiful threshold of awareness i love it all on the verge of perceiving that which is there to see. To these ones I say, open your exquisite senses. Yes. Ah, look with fine clarity into that which is beyond and beneath, within and without. In these coming critical times, listen to and heed the directives of your spirits that retain the high wisdom you are just now perceiving. And still, there are those who know. There are those who, within their tender hearts, have seen, felt, and recognized that which is there to see. There are those who... Per the I can't talk. It's like Mercury retrograde. It's so weird. There are those whose precious heritage has made them the silent preservers, 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 preservers. Jeez. Ah, of that which is to be. To these ones I have no words, for they already know the words. Ancient wisdom words that have stood eternal and pure since they were first given, ever triumphant 
triumphantly surviving the vulgar ravages of time. So, I cannot wait to read this. And maybe I'm going to do reading on it after. I'm pretty sure I'm going to. Anyway, so, okay, now I'm going to get into a book I received a couple of years ago. And I read it a couple of years ago, and I do want to read it again. So, this is it. The Hunt for the Skinwalker by George Knapp and um, Colm Kelleher. Um, they were part of a scientific discovery team called the NIDS team um, on Skinwalker Ranch when Bigelow purchased the ranch and in, um, it was funded uh, for scientific purposes, researches, and all of that. So I read this. There's incredible stories, okay? Um, I'm a believer. I am very open-minded to these things. I've had my own personal experiences and things like that. So I wanted you um, to possibly check it out. <laughs> so I will um, post a link in the description below where you can get this book. I got it off Amazon. So it says, first time print, Hunt for the Skinwalker, Science Confronts the Unexplained at a Remote Ranch in Utah. Best-selling author of Brain Trust, Colm Kelleher, PhD, and George Knapp. So on the back of this, it says, um, for more than 50 years, the bizarre events at a remote Utah ranch have ranged from the perplexing to the wholly terrifying, vanishing and mutilated cattle, unidentified flying objects, um, the appearance of huge um, otherworldly creatures. All this is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> okay. Invisible objects emitting magnetic fields with the power to spark a cattle stampede. Flying orbs of light with dazzling maneuverability and lethal consequences for one family. Life on the Skinwalker Ranch had become a life under siege by an unknown enemy or enemies. Nothing else could explain the horrors that surrounded them. Perhaps science could. Leading a first-class team of research scientists on a disturbing odyssey into the unknown, Colm Kelher spent hundreds of days and nights on the Skinwalker ranch property and experienced firsthand many of its haunting mysteries. With investigative reporter George Knapp, the only journalist allowed to witness and document the team's work, Kelleher chronicles in superb detail the spectacular happenings the team observed personally and the theories of modern physics behind the phenomena. Far from the coldly detached findings one might expect, their con conclusions are utterly hair-raising in their implications opening a door to the unseen world around us. Hunt for the Skinwalker, the clar clarion call to expand our vision far beyond what we know. This is such a good book. Such a good book. In my upcoming reading, I'm going to use some of these stories um, and things like that for my questions, and I'm going to read what I got, even some of the personal experiences I've had, okay? And so, again, all this is information is for entertainment purposes only so there's this book and then i've got another book that i just found if you've seen um, my last unboxing this is how you went to moon it's book one part of moon saw fought moon <laughs> i cannot talk moon fire saga <laughs> anyway by randy red willow and she has grown up on the uh you or and you went to reservation okay and it's very close out here um fort duchene as well it's about supposedly about her experiences of skinwalkers of other stories of elder stories and things like that okay she's a native american woman and um i found this at a local little burger shop that's been here for a long time it's called miriam's and she has signed each of the books inside. And so far, what I'm reading about it is super good. But one thing she says in it is that we can choose to believe it as fiction or believe it as real. But for her and her loved one's um, protection, she's going to prefer to call it fiction. Okay? So far, the stories have been interesting. I'm going to use this book as well in my future. Um, upcoming reading and I may be able to do that later or tomorrow something like that so let me read you the back of this um, if you don't know if you didn't see my unboxing I already did that but I'll do that one more time it says life on the Uinta Array reservation will never be the same again when Kai Moon comes home to Fort Duchesne Utah after finishing her police training she re re-enters a world of close 
family bonds, devoted friendships, and frightening mayhem. Now everyone is counting on Kai to hunt down the skinwalkers, shapeshifters, who appear sometimes in human form, sometimes a bloodthirsty and horrifying beasts. Kai and her team of warriors must capture the walkers who have been terrorizing the Yu people before any more children are stolen or murdered about the author. Randy Red Willow was raised on the Uinta and Array Reservation in northeastern Utah and has lived there her whole life. The stories she writes are loosely based on her real life experiences and on stories told by her elders. For more information, I'll leave that in the description below as well, um, where you can find this book and the others. And um, the manuscript translation was by Norma Whitehawk. So, uh, this is so good so far. I cannot wait to finish it and finish the other ones. Um, so my questions are going to be from those books, um, from the show of Secret of Skinwalker Ranch on History Channel, from people's um, stories that I've heard, um, and things like that. So it's going to be super cool. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, a very long time. And um, again, all this information is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> and so yeah I'm excited I hope you're excited um, I just invite everybody who is open-minded to these things okay and so yeah I'm excited anyway um, it's gonna be interesting I'll try to be back as soon as possible with this reading and um, I hope you've enjoyed this I hope you have a good weekend and I'll be back as soon as possible thank you guys so much and yeah, I'll see you in the next reading. The real reading. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Love and light. Hugs. Bye.